Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Credit. Today in this video, we'll discuss about what is the effect of uh, recession, inflation and falling economy on the overall job market and we will also look into tech job market and uh, we'll be looking into a lot of different data from various sources which I will be sharing with you guys so that you guys can see and uh, maybe make your mind about whatever step you want to take next in your life and uh, we will be looking quite closely to US job market and also to UK and EU. Uh, why US? Because US is a very big uh, job market and similar trend whatever US job market follows that trend can be seen into other job markets as well. So we will be looking into a lot of different uh, data from Glassdoor and things like that. So yeah, uh, with that being said, let's straight away jump into the video. But as always, if you are new here or friends, subscribe to the channel, please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of a programming cradle family. And also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated to make such video for you guys. And if you want to have a one-to-one -one meeting with me, you can join the channel membership and you can schedule a meeting with me. So now with that being said, let's straight away jump into the video. There have been major layoffs going on in the market as the economy is still on its downfall. And we don't know yet when things will take turn for good. Bigger companies like Meta has laid off around 11K employees worldwide, 350 in Ireland and 650 in the UK. Amazon has laid off around 10k people worldwide and Twitter's count is expected to go around 7500. From this table you can see other major companies number of layoffs as well. And if we see total number of tech layoffs in November 22 alone is around 51k from 203 companies globally. I will leave all the relevant links into the description so that you guys can check yourself based on your location and condition now if we talk specifically about uk and eu currently the number of layoffs are relatively low in uk and eu in general mainly because of uh, two reasons first being eu has some strict policies related to layoffs and redundancy and even after brexit uk still follows those policies made by eu and the second one is all the big tech giants have majority of their workforce in the US. That's why US headcount layoff is much more as compared to UK or EU. But if things don't start to look better economically, number of layoffs in the UK and EU will also rise. So yeah, that's there. Now if we talk about wage growth, average hourly earning increased by 4.7% year over year in October 22 which is below 5% for the first time in 22 as the number of jobs are reducing and also companies are not making as much profit as they wanted to or they expected it to be so yeah that's why uh, the hourly wages are also reducing but on a positive note in October 22 261k jobs were added in the market do mind that these uh, 261k jobs are throughout the sector and not just tech related but this number is much higher than that of pre-covid time which was around uh, 164k monthly jobs in 2019 but the thing is this number was much higher during the beginning of this year which was somewhere around 700k so again you can see the number of jobs coming into the market is also reducing so that is also something you need to keep in mind now if we talk a little bit more about uk after brexit lot of smaller businesses have been hit by a significant amount and uh, most of the smaller businesses have moved out their business or the operation from uk to other part of eu because eu had their majority of the customers and now after brexit they are finding it hard to make different kind of deals and sales in eu so that's why they have moved out their operation to eu so because of that majority of the economy which is being boosted by is the it sector so the it sector is the is the major player which is holding e, uh, holding uk's economy so considering that i think IT jobs will still have some amount of weightage if not the most amount of weightage so if you are someone who wants to do let's say data science course or computer science related job 
in the UK, I think you should still be fine. Having said that, uh, the boss of the Bank of England, um, Andrew Bailey, I guess, said that uh, the next two years could be really difficult for UK because the unemployment rate could be doubled in two years. So that is something you need to keep in mind. So let's say if you are coming for masters in the UK uh, in around uh, September 23. So till 24, you will cover your masters, you will finish your masters and you will be looking for a job. So that's where you might find uh, difficulties. But then if you are able to manage that particular one year, you will be able to uh, probably find something because economy will at some point start to uh, look good and probably it will take turn to upward trajectory hopefully so yeah uh, this is what i wanted to show in this video i hope you were able to get some useful information and how things are here i tried to show you all type of uh, different uh, statistics available so that you can actually make your mind and i will leave all the relevant links into the description so do check out that and uh, this platform which i used quite a lot is layoffs so on that website you can actually select different filters so if you want to go to let's say us you can select the filter based on that if you are coming to the uk you can select filter based on that and you can see how many companies are laying off people and how many layoffs are being done in a particular country so these kind of things you can do and if you are just interested in indian job market then probably you can uh, search based on india as a country filter so yeah these are things which you can do but yeah that's what i want to discuss in this video if you haven't joined our telegram group do join that uh, group there we have wonderful people they're discussing about a lot of different things and i'm also thinking about starting a discord server so yeah i will let you know guys uh, about that as well if you want to download data science notes link is in the description you can download that so with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment, all those good things. So bye. Happy learning.